finally get a week's vacation. Now they're calling for rain. Friend, I hope this tent you borrow doesn't leak. You know what? You're worried about the rain and all the weather problems. You know what? The sun is still out. Could we worry when there's something to worry about, please? Kids are happy, right, kitties? Happy? Look at smiles. Look at. And he caught his first fish. Everything's good. Yeah, Dad, and you were the one that said fish bite better in the rain. Yeah. So do the mosquitoes. Oh, cheer up. It could be a lot worse, you know. Okay, Brenda, I'll try to cheer up. Negotiations for the ratification of the deal are still underway. This just in, the Weather Service has upgraded our chance of rain to a severe storm warning for parts of the Tri-County area. Will you listen to that? I cheer up, and sure enough, things get worse. Mom? Yeah, honey? I'm scared. A severe storm warning could mean a tornado. I saw a Sinead on TV once. It was awful. Oh, Lisa, you're scared of everything. You're even scared of spiders. Yeah, well, some of the people died in the tornado I saw on TV. Yeah, but what happened in that drama we saw at our church last year? Heaven's gates and hell's flames. Absolutely. What well, happened? Lisa, what happened when the people in the drama died? If they asked Jesus to forgive them, their name wouldn't be in a book, and they would go to heaven. That's right, and at the end, the pastor asked all of us if we wanted to accept Christ, and what did you two do? We prayed, and we gave our lives to Jesus. And it's all good. That's why you never have to be afraid. Yeah, because we can go to heaven. That's absolutely right. right. Jimmy, I want you to run down to the lake right now. And tell your Uncle Scott there's a storm coming. That's a good idea. take me on these camping trips. When I get you for the weekends, son, I want it to be special for my special guy. Can we go fishing again tomorrow? <laughs> sure, man, if I ever get this mess untangled. Sorry about that, Dad. Yeah, no problem. I guess the weatherman was wrong again. They were calling for rain, and oh, it's what a beautiful day it's turned out to be. Dad, is it true that fish bite better, I mean, don't bite as well after thunder and lightning? Yes, it's true. Well, I guess we're pretty lucky then. The weatherman was wrong. Yeah, we, we are pretty lucky the weatherman was wrong. Uncle Scott, Uncle Scott, you better head on back. There's a storm coming. We heard it on the radio. <laughs> oh, don't worry about shoot. him. shoot. The fish won't bite for sure now. The storm will scare them away. Dad? Oh, yes, son. Lisa was telling Jimmy and I about a tornado. She you know Lisa and her tornado stories? That girl's got an overactive imagination. The chances of a tornado touching down on a beautiful sunny day like this? Very, very slim. Don't be worried. Can't you see how nice it is? Dad. Yes, son? Do you remember the drama we saw last year at Uncle Bob and Aunt Brenda's church with all the thunder and lightning? Yeah, don't let, don't let that scare you either, son. You know, everybody knows that's just make-believe. Dad, I thought about giving my life to Jesus that night, but then I saw you weren't very interested. You left early. You know... Some people, they take the Bible literally. You know, you can't believe everything that people tell you. Take wrestling, for example. You love wrestling. It's fake. You know it's fake. I know it's fake. But yet people pretend it's real. And they love it. Boy, Jimmy and Lisa must have been fooled then, because they went to the front and prayed and asked Jesus into their lives. Yeah, you know, my sister Brenda, she's just like our grandfather. She believes everything too. And now, oh, look at your cousins. They're just like her. You're right, Dad. That Jesus stuff can't be real. I'm no fool, and I want to be just like you. We're safe, aren't we, Dad? Hey, look at those are dark clouds coming up there over the horizon. Yeah, well, maybe maybe Jimmy's right. We should put that back.
this. This is awesome. It's so beautiful. Look. Look. It's, Brenda. It's better than I thought. We're You're heaven. right. You're right, Jimmy. Heaven's beautiful. It's Look. just like the travel we saw. We're all here. <laughs> Thank hey, God we gave our lives to Christ. See? There's nothing to worry about. Look. You prayed? Yeah. Look. This is wonderful. The Phillips family. That's us. Step forward. Your names have been found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Thank God. Brenda, look. Your mom. Is that my grandma? And your grandfather. <laughs> Bob, you know me? I know you. Everybody knows everybody here. It's the miracle of heaven. It's awesome. I can't wait to meet Moses. He'll know you right away. That's wonderful. I want to meet him. I want to meet Jesus. Jimmy, it's Jesus. It's Lisa. Lisa. Praise God. Hallelujah. God, I was wrong. This, this is bad. Dad, look over there. It's Jimmy, Lisa, Uncle Bob, and Aunt Brenda. Jimmy, Lisa, I'm over here. Why can't they hear me, Dad? It's, 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 it's no use, son. There's, there's my grandpa, and there's, there's my mom. She, she looks so beautiful. Dad, something's wrong. I'm getting afraid. Scared. It's it's too late, son. Like Scott and John Gamble, oh, come no. forward. Your names have not been found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You have been found guilty of breaking the laws of God given to man through the Ten Commandments and rejecting your last chance of accepting God's forgiveness through Jesus Christ. I get a lot of people on that line. <laughs> Thanks, partner. You made your son. This is last chance. <laughs> last chance. Last chance. Last chance. This is fair! 